Family and friends have this morning gathered at the family home of Professor Hiropete Khotitsile in Dipkluf, Soweto, to pay their last respects before the official funeral service later on in the morning at Marks Park in Johannesburg. Also known as Bra Willi, Professor Khotitsile died on the 3rd of January following a short illness. Let's cross over to our reporter, Ntokwana Ngatane, and uh, find out uh, who she's joined with this morning. Very good morning to you. Thanks so much for being with us. Indeed, good morning, Lien. This is the day of that special official funeral for Brawili, and that is Professor Giorapetzi Khositsile, who passed on on the 3rd of January. And President Jacob Zuma, you remember, has designated this special official funeral, but also flags are flying at half mast in all South African uh, national areas today. And so here in Deep Kloof is where, as you've said, family, friends will gather this morning. He arrived in the family home yesterday. And as you know, this is the last leg for the family and friends to be together in private before they can be joined by other people at that bigger funeral service that will be held where Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa will deliver the eulogy. But um, to take us through what is exactly expected to happen here this morning is family friend who has been with the family from the day of Professor Hosicile's passing, who has been talking about his legacy, who has been shuttling, I suppose, between the government and the family and uh, telling us about all those memorial services Services that have been held to honor Brawili from as far uh, away as New York to here in South Africa where we saw his branch in uh, Houghton holding uh, that memorial service and many others young and old have been paying their respects to Brawili and saying that he is a man who transcended the political to the arts. And uh, you remember that some people say that if you only talk about politics, you probably will not get the message through. But uh, he was able to transcend that divide and get politics talked about in the arts as well. Dr. thank you very much for joining us this morning. Um, now, tell us what is expected to happen here this morning. Uh, good morning and good morning to your guests. First, let me say that the family is uh, very thankful to the, uh, the government for declaring this a special official funeral. And uh, the course, it is a great tribute to the National Poet Laureate, uh, Brawili Hosetzile. Now, this morning, there will be a viewing which is taking place now, and family members are, are as you have seen, are streaming into the house. And the viewing will take place from uh, 6 to 7. And at, uh, at 7, there would be a short uh, program uh, in the marquee where you know, people can express themselves and there will be... Uh, um, it would not be a religious program, but it will be a program that is, uh, it really uh, goes along with the philosophy of Brawilik, uh, Kiropetse, Hosetzile. Uh, thereafter, um, at about uh, 8.15, somewhere thereabouts, the family will then uh, move from here to, the, um, to Marks Park. At Marks, when they arrive at Marks Park, there would be a, a flag uh, ceremony that takes place. The leadership of the ANC will... Um, well, in fact, uh, the flag is now draped in the uh, ANC flag. We'll take the flag and hand it over to the family. Thereafter, the SANDF will uh, drape the flag and the, the uh, mortal remains are then turned over to, to the military. And they would then, uh, from a military perspective, because it is a special official funeral, Category 1, they would, uh, pallbearers would take the, the casket into uh, the service at uh, Marks Park and there would be a service then from about 9 until uh, 12 and uh, you, you're aware of uh, some of the people who would be speaking there, the Deputy President uh, would be speaking, the Premier of Gauteng, uh, David Makura, um, as well as uh, the 
specific people that uh, Willy Hosetzele had identified as people he wished to speak. That would be uh, Mandla Langa, Barbara Masakela, Dr. Sibiletso, Mokoni Matabani, and of course, uh, former minister Paolo Jordan will be speaking. Um, and there would also be a number of uh, musical interludes by uh, Jonas Gwangwa, uh, Steve Dyer, who were all a part of a group called Amandla in the days of, uh, of the anti-apartheid struggle and the struggle for liberation. And uh, Bra Willy was a part of the, the, led the cultural department. And so they've come to, also have come to, to, to honor him. They would, uh, after that, the cortege would leave to the, uh, to the cemetery and there would be an honor guard from the, the, the military honor guard and uh, uh, at the cemetery. And then there would be a, uh, some last rites that are given and the flag would then be handed over, its national flag would be handed to the, uh, to the family. Well, that is Trevor Fowler giving us a rundown of what is expected to happen from here right to Mark's Park and throughout the day. It's back to you in studio for now.